welcome back to my channel. Today I have a mid-March message for all of the Tauruses out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Taurus out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Taurus, let's go ahead and dive right into your mid-March message. So Taurus, we are starting out with truth be told. Okay. Bearing fruit. All right. And me talks. Okay. This is interesting. I keep getting the same message for a lot of the Zodiac signs out in the collective with this me talks. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe that, um, Towards the last week of February, if you follow me on my Instagram or even on my shorts here on YouTube, I do daily messages and one day um, the message was me talks. So let's start right off the bat here, Taurus. So right off the bat, we have bearing fruit here. And this often represents... <clears throat> Um, a lot of the things that, so it's like bringing a lot of the results of our hard work. So all of the hard work that we've been putting into either ourselves, into projects, into our career, into our life, into our relationships, it's really about birthing something new. Um, it's about, you know, a concept, an idea, and it's about, uh, being consistent in your efforts towards making that idea or that concept or that project or that relationship, it's about really being consistent in your work in order to manifest it into form. I also feel that it also represents um, the relationship that you have internally and externally. So like the relationship that you have with yourself outside of yourself, as well as the relationship that you have inside of yourself. And it's, it deals a lot with our feelings and our beliefs. So I, I want to point out here that I feel that what spirit is really wanting you to understand here is that it's time that you become very truthful with yourself. The truth be told is about laying down the masks being very clear and very honest with yourself about what it is you're needing exactly. I want to point out here that the truth be told is a 14, which reduces to a five. The bearing fruit is a 12, which reduces to a three. And the me talks is a 39, which reduces to a 12 again. And it's a three. So you have 12, 12 when you reduce it, but it's three, three. So you have five, three, three. Here's the thing. When I'm looking at just this Taurus, your message is that you need to be very honest with yourself about the, the amount of time, the amount of energy, the amount of work that you're putting into the things that you are ultimately wanting to create. I feel that, uh, uh, it's kind of like what I'm hearing here, Taurus, is that you can't expect to bear fruit overnight. Like you can't expect to not be consistent in your efforts in wanting to, you know, grow a business overnight. If you're not putting in the time, if you're not putting in the effort, if you're not really, you know, repairing your mental state when it comes to your belief system or, you know, or, or the practices that you actually have in, you know, building a better rapport or image, then it's kind of hard for them to really bring that all into play. Right. So that's one message. The other message is that, you know, it's important for you to understand that you have to find balance, balance in all things, a balance between work and a balance between play. Right. And so I feel that ultimate, I feel that the ultimate message Taurus here is that you really need to work on being very truthful with yourself about your work ethic. 
And, you know, Taurus is that type of energy that um, is very stubborn um, and is very practical in a way that they're very strategic in how they get things done. But I do feel that with this me talks, it's sort of telling me that there isn't enough balance between your mental state and your spiritual state. So it's almost like whatever you're trying to manifest, you don't 150% believe that it's possible. And belief and your thoughts have a lot to do with that. So if you have a lot of, you know, negativity going on in your mind that's constantly cutting you down and telling you that you're not going to be successful. If you have a goblin per se in your mind that constantly tells you you're not good enough, you're not going to be able to become successful, that that's a stupid idea, um, that it's okay for you to not be consistent, then you're really not going to bear the fruit that you ultimately are wanting to create or to have. So it's, this is why it's time that you be very honest. It's time to put down the mask and really face the truth for what it is. So let's go ahead and dive into the tarot because the tarot is going to give us some really good insight here as to what is really going on here. So we have the two of pentacles in reversed. Again, I feel that the energy itself is not balanced. And I feel that maybe you're putting in effort in an area that isn't where you need to be putting in energy. Maybe what you need to be putting more energy into is the things that are more towards the manifesting. So here's kind of what I see. When I see a two of pentacles in the, in the upright position, it often tells me that, that that person is very practical, very grounded. But in this particular aspect, it's in reverse. So it tells me that you're not really in that practical aspect. You're more into, okay, well, this is what I'm desiring and this is what I'm doing. So if you're following like manifestation techniques, here's what I'm going to tell you. A, a lot of times when, when people give you tips and tricks on different ways of manifesting, it works for some people, but not everybody. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat here, Taurus, that if you don't have a belief that something is possible. If, if you say, I'm going to be a millionaire, and in the back of your mind, you hear this voice tell you, yeah, right. Then those tech, you writing that sentence, you doing that, you know, manifestation practice or tool isn't going to work until that voice in your mind is silenced. Okay. We now have the moon card. Yep with the hangman. So this is ultimately signifying to me, the moon represents the illusions and our dreams. So here is where you need to sort of weigh, you know, are, are you really, do you really have a good belief system in your dreams or are you more towards the illusions? Cause the illusions are fears, right? The illusions are, it's just a mirage. It's not the truth right? And you have truth be told here that it's really wanting you to really see things clearly. It's wanting you to understand it so that you know where you're going to be focusing your energy here. Okay. That's going to be the important thing. And I feel that ultimately, yep. Okay. All right. So that's ultimately what you're needing to do here, right? So you're needing to find the balance between the things that you, you know, your belief system. The hangman speaks about sacrifice and it also speaks about patience, okay? I feel that what you're needing to sacrifice here is you're needing to sacrifice this belief system that you have that isn't coming from a heart centered place. It isn't coming from a place of full source and full love. And I want to point out that when you want to manifest something, Taurus, your thoughts have to be completely in alignment with your belief system, as well as the emotion that you put attached to it. And so kind of how I, I want you to kind of see this is that let's say you have a thought, like, let's say your ultimate dream is to, open up your own business and to be successful and to make $6,000, you know, a week based off of this business, whatever it might be. So the first thing you have to get into alignment is really ask yourself, 
do I believe this? Do I believe that this is possible? Because we often have those little goblins in the back of our mind, right? That often tell us that we can't be successful, that we won't be successful. And a lot of times it's based off of what we might have heard outside of us, right? It might be, you know, unsolicited advice that we get from our family or our friends or wherever it might stem from, right? And that's something that's on repeat all the time, right? So if we're constantly working hard at making something achievable, right, or we're trying to see all of our hard work being paid off, right, but the work that we're putting in, we're not in alignment with that. And what I mean by that is that let's say that you're asking yourself the true intention. Why why do you feel that it's so important for you to see results instantaneously, right? So there's a lot of things that are entailed with that. Then you also have to remember that just because you say, I am a millionaire, just because you say that affirmation, it doesn't mean that you believe it. And if you don't believe it, then the emotion that you have attached to that is one of apathy. It's one of, yeah, right. So Everything has to sort of be at the same vibration. It has to be at the same level in order for it to sort of take shape and take form. So I feel that what you're needing to do, Taurus, here is find the balance and really ask yourself, be honest with yourself, you know, how is my vibration when it comes to my dreams and my illusions? Am I working towards my dreams or am I putting more energy into the illusions, right? Do I really believe that my dreams are achievable or do I believe more in the illusions? Then once you figure that out, that is when you can put into action the things that you need to sacrifice, the things that you need to let go of. Sacrifice is about letting go. It's about releasing that sense of control. The Ace of Cups here, Taurus, in reverse, really speaks about an opportunity, an opportunity for you to love and to nurture the things that you are ultimately wanting to take shape and wanting to take form. I feel that it's going to move a little bit slower for you because you have to be able to get your thoughts and your emotions in sync. You have to be able to get them to be at the same level or the same vibration in order for it to start taking shape. The emotion, the how much love and energy we put into something is what feeds the seed to make it grow. You also have the 10 of wands here, which is about your burdens and your responsibilities with the sun. And I do want to point out that I do feel that the thoughts that you have, your belief system, while they are negative and they're not really helpful, these are the things that you're needing to let go. I do feel that you are towards the end of this because I do feel this is about you mas becoming the master of your own thoughts and your own emotions so that you can become that master of self. I do feel that you are going to overcome this. It's just a matter of you really realizing and being honest with yourself on where you're putting your energy. So let's dive a little bit deeper here, Taurus. Let's see um, what else spirit can tell you in regards to you being able to really witness um, all of your success that you've been working so hard towards. You have the seven of wands. This is about um, shining a light on the things um, and standing in your power, recognizing when you can be honest with yourself about where you're spending your time and where you're spending your energy and you become so aware of that, that you aren't afraid of standing in the uncomfortableness of that and being willing to do what's necessary. You also have the tower here, which is really about the change, right? Like understanding that change is inevitable. Change is going to happen. And it's really about you um, allowing change to occur in order to be able to surrender to what is, right? And then you have the queen of voices, which is the queen of swords. Again, it's about 
using your intellect, making wise choices, not based off of emotions. That's the key here. Don't make a decision based off of how you feel. Really think about it. Really ask yourself, what is the right move here? Don't do it when, don't make any decisions when you are already in an emotional state. Because I feel a lot of times we do that. We react to situations instead of responding to situations. And responding is really what we're needing to do. We're needing to respond from an intellectual and intuitive perspective in order to truly um, see the significance or truly understand having that observer point of view, that higher perspective to truly see things clearly. Okay. Next you have the five of materials, which is the five of pentacles. And I find this interesting because this often, um, I feel that what it's saying to me is that you ought, when things get really hard here, Taurus, you oftentimes give up. Um, and you sort of cave in on yourself and not, that's the reason why nothing changes and why you're not really seeing the results when things get really hard and things aren't going in the way that you want them to go. You sort of just give up and you stop working and you sort of get into this state of poor me. Why can't I have this? Or why can't I have that? And again, you're needing to allow things to be what they are. Understand that things don't happen overnight. Um, it's, it's important to also understand that the five of five of pentacles speaks about a test of our resources. You know, when we're, we're, when we're faced with a challenge, when we're faced with an obstacle or when something doesn't work out the way that we intended for it to work out, are we resourceful? Can we look at whatever obstacle or situation that we're in and say to ourselves, okay, how can I still make this happen even though it's not exactly what I wanted it to be, right? It's about being willing to take initiative, to take a step, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of it not meeting our expectations, so forth and so on. Next, you have the Six of Materials, which is the Six of Pentacles. It's about equal dispense of energy. It's about give and take. It's about reciprocity. I feel that this is important. And I want to point out here that you have the six of voices here, um, as the bottom deck energy, which is a rite of passage. The six of swords really speaks about leaving everything behind and starting fresh, starting new. And I really feel that this is where you're, where you're going here, Taurus. I feel that where you are right now is you're in a place where you're needing to surrender your expectations, surrender any negative beliefs that you have about being successful and sort of make decisions based off of your intellect, based off of what you've learned from your experiences and your intuition and recognize that even if you're in a space that doesn't feel familiar to you, when you can still be resourceful, when you can still take the initiative and really put forth equal energy, really putting forth the same amount of effort into your goals, your projects, your relationships, everything, giving to yourself, um, you will discover that you'll end up someplace new. You'll end up in a, in a new path, in your sacred path, and it's exactly where you need to be. So Taurus, this is your message. I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Bye, guys.